This is Red Beard, and in today's adventures, I'm up on Mount Shasta. So I got here last night, uh, right around 11 o'clock. I went to Panther Meadows, and there's a sign there saying it's closed. So I rode down this road here, and uh, as you can tell, it's pretty rutted. And so I just found the spot, pulled over, cleared off some sticks, set up my tent. I'm taking my tent down. This isn't a good spot to stay. It's just kind of on the side of this path going to some group camping and I'm not a group and uh, this is not a fun road to be on with the bike especially when you're tired at 11 or I guess it's getting close to midnight by the time I got this spot. I arrived at Panther Meadows at, uh, at 11 and then I found this spot about an hour later set up camp I'm up here at Panther Meadows, we're a little over 7,000 feet. And if you look over here, Panther Meadow Campground is closed for the season. And guy I talked to this morning said people here were being too rambunctious, too rowdy. So they just closed it down on October 8th. That's not on the website, but that's what's going on. I'm up here, I want to see it, even though I can't camp, but I want to see it and I want to get some water from the spring. So I'm going to go up this way, close for the season. It looks like they got nice little camping areas, picnic table, fire pits, and this is, uh, this is no fee camping as well from, uh, I forget when it starts. Around June, June to November, or begin of June to November first. This is what I heard. Website didn't say anything about it being closed, so I'm rather disappointed. It looks beautiful um, right now; it's very empty. Um, sounds like they had to close it because people are not treating it properly. So I, I get that, but I um, I really wanted to stay here. I had to make a decision then if I should uh, camp somewhere else or or head back. It's a, it's a long journey, um, but I gotta get some water first. I'm starting to get a little weak. I'm afraid to eat much without water. I brought some water with me, but my plan was to get here early enough to camp and get some water from the spring. And uh, I didn't even get to camp near the spring, and I didn't get here early enough. So, yeah, feeling a little weak. I'm not the healthiest thing. We'll get some water and I'll be feeling better. I found the spring. I'm gonna go down a little further and see if there's a better spot to get some water from it. I think I found my spot. Let me start from the water. It worked pretty well. It didn't look like it was working. So it was pushing water through. So I filled this thing up pretty quick. I didn't even realize it was full. So I'm gonna drink this, fill it up again, and I'll be good for a bit. That's the downside of this spring. I'm gonna go back up the hill now. Yeah, I find it interesting. It's just a spring that way. So if you follow this path, that's all it's good for, is getting water. Well, I think I've always got a filter. Just take it from there. Well, this appears to be the lower meadow. So 
this is the uh, campground host spot. Nice big fireplace. A bit of firewood. A little further away from all the other campers. Here I am at the uh, old ski bowl trailhead. Not a crazy high point, but not bad. Nice view. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. This is Redbeard. Until my next adventure, see you on the road.